What's up, everyone? Happy Tuesday. We are at a new location today. We are at a new location today. This is the Stephen McDonald Memorial Garden. Garden of Forgiveness. There's Dawn. There's Dawn, we're over here in Westwood Park in Malvern. It's a beautiful project that went on, uh, remember Stephen McDonald. Garden of Forgiveness. Love is the way. A lot of great effort from the community went into this garden. I like the uh, shamrock planter around the tree. Pretty cool, pretty cool. The sun is riding over the garden. Super beautiful. Our friend Joe DeVito did a really nice job with the uh, landscape design on this. Super pretty, super pretty, super peaceful, super peaceful. Janine's watching me while I'm watching her. Look, oh, she shut it off watching it live all right so uh message today message today um turned on a little ryan stuman this morning and his message was about don't let things phase you which i find kind of interesting because we were riding to hewlett harbor this morning and actually we rode past the memorial on the way through and um all of a sudden i hear pop and let's see if you can see right here the spokes are coming apart in my bike. See them all? So we are due for a tune-up. The wheel is about to fall apart here. The hub's about to come out of it. And uh, we said, you know what? That's not gonna, not gonna phase us. Not gonna phase us. So um, we said, you know what? Rather than drive all the way down, ride all the way down to Hewlett Harbor. And uh, in case we broke, we're going to go back to home where we're safe. Where uh, if it finally does break, we can walk home. Or maybe we can call Kevin Brady to come get us. Where's Kevin Brady this morning? So, as we constantly, the message we talk about is that life is going to keep throwing you obstacles along your journey. And uh, you can't let it phase you. You can't let things in life phase you. Um, you can't let things knock you off course. Um, we're gonna get this ride in, and uh, nothing's gonna phase us. Um, the wheel's gonna fall off. I'm gonna ride this thing till the wheels fall off, because that's what we do. That's what we do. We don't stop. So, uh, show you this garden a little bit more. So every day in our journey, things are gonna pop up. Things are gonna try and throw us off course. And we can't let it phase us. Um, the other thing he spoke about is phases in life. Um, don't go through phases, it's, it's lifestyle. Um, people go through a diet phase. It's not a diet phase, diet is a lifestyle. Um, you choose to eat well every time you sit down and eat. That's a lifestyle, that's not a phase. Uh, if you choose to um, exercise, it's not a phase, it's a lifestyle. It's not a phase, it's a lifestyle. If a phase is just a distraction, um, a lifestyle is what you make of it. Um, choose to be good, choose to be positive. Um, go through a religious phase, 
It's not a phase, it's a lifestyle. It's what you choose to make of it. It's what you believe in, what you stand for, and what you do every day uh, to preach your message. Um, so anyway, a little talk about phases, inspired by Ryan Stuman. Uh, I don't know if you guys watch him. He's got the Rewire podcast. Check it out. Language is a little rough, but the message is spot on. And, uh, yeah, so we're here in the garden. It's absolutely beautiful today. Staying close to home because uh, we need our safety net if my wheel falls off. So, um, yesterday evening, I went to a uh, meeting of the newly formed uh, Kiwanis Club of Malvern. Uh, my buddy Greg's been uh, pushing me to uh, help get him, help him get one started here in Malvern. Uh, each community has their chapter, and what they do is they fundraise um, and they help to support children. Um, can't do enough good in this world. Um, a buddy of mine, I told him where I was at. He goes, I don't know how you how you do it. And I said, you know what? We got to keep giving. You got to give. You got to give if you want to get. I'm getting attacked over here by a bug. But um, in life, if we want to receive, we got to give first. You got to give first. We got to be prophets in the world. We got to give. We got to give. Um, so if anyone's interested in that, uh, we are meeting the second and third Mondays at 7 p.m. Uh, the location is going to rotate through different uh, restaurants in the area. Uh, the next one is August 9th at Connolly Station, 7 p.m. Uh, all are welcome to come down and join. And uh, we grab dinner, do a little networking, uh, talk about some ideas, some fundraisers, and the causes that we do. They do a lot of scholarships for kids, um, different things like that. Um, just another good uh, community organization. Uh, you can never do too much good in this world. So... Um, Anyway, so that's where I was last night. You saw the picture up. So if anyone wants to get involved, come join me. Um, you know, maybe I can't hit every meeting, but uh, yeah, Benny, where were you last night? You've been missing, man. Where you been hiding? So, um, but anyway, so yeah, Malvern Kiwanis Club. It's the second and uh, fourth Monday, 7 p.m. Uh, follow me. I'll tell you where the meeting's going to be. But the next one is at Connolly's on 8 9. And um, hey, it's a good group. Good group. Kevin Brady's there. He's late. Kevin Brady was a big part of this park. This memorial. Him and his crew keeps it looking pretty. Beautiful spot. Kev, you didn't see what happened today, man. We had some mechanical failures. Check this out. All my spokes are coming apart. I almost had to call you. Have you come get me? But we made it back into town, and we said, you know what? Something's calling us over here to the forgiveness garden. Love is the way. Mm -hmm. So, all right, let's do prayer time. I got to get to the city today. So, Dean, prayer time, come on, let's go. You're on the spot. All right, here we go. <laughs> it's been a long morning already. <laughs> Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us our trespasses, as those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, deliver us from evil. Amen. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, and now of our death. Amen. I think that what happened this morning and Brian and I were talking about is a, a good omen that we ended up in this garden because when you think you make a plan for life, like I'm sure Stephen and Patty McDonald did when they started out in their early marriage uh, and God or the world has other plans for you, you can't just let that make you stop, set you back, destroy your relationships. You kind of just have to plow forward and pray, turn to God, turn to each other, set a new plan, take what you've given and set a new plan. So that's what we did this morning when the spokes started popping on the corner of Scranton and Broadway. We said, okay, we need to kind of like reel it back in, take it closer to home, find a place in Malvern that we could go live, Brian could go live. 
so right away we go to this place, and uh, if we need to, we can walk to his house, walk to my house, help each other, get everybody home safely. And I think those are all good life lessons, like just a small little spoke pop on a bike can lead you to kind of think about when life derails, you gotta just kind of go with it, make other plans, and uh, sometimes you find something better. So, definitely, that's my definitely. Two cents. Definitely. And you should check out this garden, even if you yeah. just have a few minutes and it's evening or morning, dawn, dusk, middle of the day with the kids at the park. It's pretty awesome. Patty told me that underneath all these stones, there's all the medals and citations that Stephen had received, that they buried a lot of them underneath because she had so many of them that she didn't know you know, what to do with them or how to store them going forward. So they got the idea that since it was a place of peace to put some of those citations buried into these stones. And I don't know, this place for me, I live right nearby here and during COVID it was like super peaceful just to like walk the dog over here, sit and kind of reflect on what was going on in the world. So I think it's a, a, a great addition to this town. Check it out. Definitely, definitely. It's uh, a lot of people put a lot of hard work and effort into this. Um, I'll show you around a little bit more. This is Westwood Park in Malvern. By the Westwood train station. A beautiful morning to be in the park. But absolutely beautiful. Yeah, Malvern DPW. Kevin and his crew do an amazing job everywhere, but especially here. I want to see if I can get Malvern DPW to do my landscape. Because they do a kick butt job. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you, Kevin and the crew, for all you do. all you do beautiful all right everyone i gotta get done i actually gotta go to the city today so uh i gotta get moving i gotta get this bike back before the wheel falls off and uh see if i can get a couple miles in i don't know we're running out of time um but anyway Stephen mcdonald garden forgiveness westwood park come down check it out shout out again to dpw kevin brady and the crew um for keeping this place absolutely beautiful it shows, it shows. You never get the credit you guys deserve. So, all right, everyone, have a great day. Don't let anything phase you in life when stuff, when life throws you a curve. Keep going, keep going. Stay on your mission, stay on your purpose. Um, eat right, do right, do good, change the world. God bless everyone.